propounded a theory of international trade in 1776 that is known as the theory of absolute cost advantage. Note it down. Absolute cost advantage theory is also known as theory of international trade introduced by Adam Smith in 1776. According to him, a particular country should specialize in producing only those goods that it is able to produce with greater efficiency, that is at lower cost, and exchange those goods with other goods of their requirements from a country that produces those other goods with greater efficiency or at lower cost. Here, in his point of view, a country should specialize in a product that can be produced efficiently with lower cost. At the same time, the country should trade the product with another country which produces another product in the same way. In this way, both the countries will gain from the trade. He explains his theory in a two-commodity, two-country framework. We will see an example to give this statement more clarity. Suppose Bangladesh produces 1 kg of rice with 10 units of labor and 1 kg of wheat with 20 units of labor. On the other hand, Pakistan produces the same amount of rice with 20 units of labor and produces the same amount of wheat with 10 units of labor. Each of the countries has 100 units of labor in total. Equal amount of labor is used for the production of two goods in absence of trade in the two countries. Firstly, let us analyze the total output in each country separately before and happening the trade. In the absence of trade, the total units of labor for each country is 100. So to produce both the pr products, 50 units of labor will be allocated for each product. In the case of Bangladesh, for rice, if 10 units makes 1 kg, how many kgs can be made with 50 units? It's 5. That is, imagine you are buying a pen for 10 rupees. And you are asked how many pens will you be able to buy if you have 50 rupees. Now the answer is 5. Now is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. So, here in our example, Bangladesh can produce 5 kg of rice with 50 units of labor and in case of wheat, 20 units of labor is required to make 1 kg. So how many kgs can be made from 50 units? That is 50 by 20 which is 2.5 kgs. In the same way, Pakistan can produce 2.5 kgs of rice and 5 kgs of wheat. So let's see what happens after trade. According to Smith's theory, if they employ the whole 100 units of labor in a single product by specializing in it, they can produce 10 kgs, that is 100 units by 10 is equal to 10 kg. Now, for a clear understanding, let's compare the outputs of these countries before and after trade. Note down that Bangladesh can produce more rice than Pakistan and Pakistan can produce more wheat than Bangladesh before trade. As you can see, Bangladesh and Pakistan both increased its productivity of rice and wheat respectively from 5 kg to 10 kg after trade. You can also see that the total output has increased from 15 to 20. Thus, the theory of absolute cost advantage explains how trade helps in increasing the total output in two countries, but it fails to explain whether trade will exist if any of the two countries produce both the goods at lower cost. Considering labor as the only factor of production can also be noted, which cannot be always true. These were the deficiencies of this theory that led David Ricardo to formulate the theory of comparative cost advantage. Moving on to theory of comparative cost advantage, Ricardo focused not on absolute efficiency but on the relative efficiency of the countries for producing goods. This is why this theory is known as the theory of comparative cost advantage. In a two country, two commodity model, he explains that a country will produce only that product which is, it is able to produce more efficiently. 
again let's see an example suppose bangladesh produces 1 kg of rice and wheat with 10 units of labor each on the contrary india produces 1 kg of rice with 8 units of labor and 1 kg of wheat with 5 units of labor each of the countries has 100 units of labor in total equal amount of labor is used for the production of two goods in absence of trade in the two countries in the absence of trade bangladesh produce 1 kg of rice and wheat each with 10 units of labor so with 50 units they produce 5 kg each in india in the case of rice 1 kg takes 8 units of labor so with 50 units of labor that is 50 by 8 which is 6.25 kg in the case of wheat 1 kg takes 5 units of labor so with 50 units of labor that is 50 by 5 which is 10 kg if we look at this from the viewpoint of absolute cost advantage there will be no trade as india possesses absolute advantage in the production of both the commodities in ricardian view there will be trade because india possesses comparative advantage in the production of wheat this is because the ratio of cost between bangladesh and india that is here if you can see the cost of the comparative cost between bangladesh and india while making while producing rice is 10 by 8 that is 1.125 is to 1 also in wheat that is 2 10 by 5 that is 2 is to 1 because of this comparative cost advantage india will produce 20 kg of wheat with 100 units of labor and export a part to bangladesh on the other hand bangladesh will produce 10 kg of rice with 100 units of labor and export a part to india this is how it becomes after trade when bangladesh and india uses the whole 100 units of labor in rice and wheat respectively they produce 10 and 20 kg of rice and wheat respectively it will be more clear if we compare see the total output of food grains in the two countries which was equal to 26.25 kg before trade rises to 30 kg after trade thus it is the comparative cost advantage that led to trade and uh, specialize in production thereby increasing the total output in the two countries to sum up absolute cost advantage theory explains that a country having absolute cost advantage in the production of a product on account of greater efficiency should specialize in its production and export whereas comparative cost advantage theory explains that a country should specialize in the production and export of a commodity in which it possesses greatest relative advantage that's all